Science 5 Quarter 1 Week 1 to Week 2 Milk Base Let's learn about Properties of Materials Good day kids! It's me, Teacher Frel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frel TV. Good day kids! Our lesson for today is about the properties of materials. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to Discover and understand the properties of materials and their uses Hello kids! Today, you will learn about the properties of materials and their uses Properties are distinctive characteristics that describe an object or materials Like objects made of metals plastics, woods, and fabrics. These properties of materials determine their uses and importance. These properties may be observed directly or indirectly. Go to your kitchen. Can you observe those materials found in your kitchen? Can you tell the uses of each materials? Each materials have their own characteristics which tell about their properties like texture, color, and hardness. These properties are called physical properties. Let's observe teapot, plate, cup, and saucer. What characteristics do they share in common? Correct! They are made of ceramics. Each property shows that it is hard, rigid, waterproof, and resistant to heat. These properties make them a good material for holding hot liquids. There are also some plates, cup and saucer, that are made from plastics. Plastics are also durable but once it is deformed, the deformation remains. They are also durable. Durability is the ability of the material to withstand wear, pressure, or damage. Unlike plastic materials, rubber bands are elastic. When force is applied on it, it returns to its original size and shape after the force is removed. This property is elasticity. Rubber is durable, elastic, and can resist heat. This makes rubber an excellent material for making tires for land vehicles. Try to help your mother scrub the steel sink using steel wool or wire sponge. The sink and steel wool are made up of stainless steel. They are important because the sink is used to hold water when you wash things. They are also tough, easy to clean, and strong. Some materials like fork, spoon, and knife are also made from stainless steel. You may cook rice in an aluminum pot or in a rice cooker. Aluminum is used in making cookwares like kettle, rice cooker, casserole, and frying pan because it is a good thermal conductor and has light weight. These properties are important for everyday use in cooking foods. When choosing materials for specific use, don't forget to consider their characteristics and properties. Your prior knowledge about the characteristics of solid, liquid, and gas will help you determine their properties and uses in your everyday life. You can describe a metal kettle 
by saying that it is strong and durable. A metal is also malleable. Malleability means that a metal can be hammered and formed into sheets which can be used for a variety of different purposes. The performance of solid materials consider their response to external forces. Hardness is a measure on the amount of force that an object can withstand. Top materials like block of wood will not break easily in contrast to materials that are brittle like eggshells. Plastics are flexible, durable, and resilient. That's why they are good materials for storage containers. But they are extremely resistant that they persist for hundreds of years. Do you know that plastic water bottle can persist for 450 years? And disposable diapers for 500 years? Some materials found at home, like the power cord of the rice cooker or extension wires are made from copper wires. These materials are good conductor of electricity. Electrical conductivity is the ability of metals to conduct heat and electricity. And now, for more learnings about this lesson, let's do learning task 1. Using the given objects presented in the table, write as many characteristics or properties as possible to describe each object. You can choose the characteristics or properties inside the box. The first object is a chopping board. What characteristics do this object have? Correct! The characteristic of a chopping board is hard, durable, and strong. For the second object is a plastic plate. What characteristic or properties do this object have? Correct! The characteristic or properties of these objects are Smooth, water resistant, and hard. Number three, a glass. What characteristics or properties do this glass have? Correct! This glass is smooth, hard, clear, and transparent. Number four, rubber band. What characteristics or properties do this object have? Very good! The characteristics or properties of this object are Elastic, strong, and water resistant. And number 5, steel knife. What characteristics or properties do this knife have? Correct! The characteristics or properties of this object are Malleable, magnetic, and durable. And now, let's move to learning task 2. Match the materials in column A with their uses in column B. Number 1. Knife. What is the use of this object? Choose your answer in column B. Correct! The uses of this knife is Letter G. Knife is for food preparation or cutlery. Number 2. Wood. What is the use of this wood? Correct! The use of wood is for making chairs and tables. Letter H. Number 3. Cloth. What is the use of this cloth? Correct! The answer is letter I. Cloth is also used as blanket. Number 4. Metal pot. What is the use of this object? Correct! The answer is letter B. Metal pot is for cooking foods. Number 5. Ceramic cup. What is the use of this object? Very good! The answer is letter F. Ceramic cup is used to hold hot liquids. 
Number 6. Muriatic acid. What is the use of this object? Very good! The answer is letter E. Cleans the toilet bowl. Number 7. Powder detergent. What is the use of this object? Correct! The answer is letter D. It removes dirt in soiled clothes. Number 8. Mirror. What is the use of this object? Very good! The answer is letter A. It reflects the existing light. Number 9. Bat soap. What is the use of this object? Very good! The answer is letter J. Use for personal hygiene. And number 10. Electrical wires. What is the use of this object? Very good! The answer is letter C. It is used to conduct electricity. Learning Task 3 Read the properties of materials below. Identify the property of materials described in each sentence. Number 1. The physical property of metals that defines their ability to be hammered, pressed, or rolled into thin sheets without breaking. What property is this? Very good! It is malleability. Number 2. Ability of the materials to conduct electricity. What is the answer? Very good! The answer is electrical conductivity. Number 3. This refers to the ability of the material to withstand wear, pressure, or damage. What is this? Very good! It is durability. Number 4. The physical property of a material associated with the ability to be hammered thin or stretched into wire without breaking. What is this? Very good! The answer is ductility. And number 5. It is the measure of the resistance to localized plastic deformation induced by either mechanical indention. What is this? Very good! The answer is hardness. And now, let's move to learning task 4. Classify the uses or importance of each materials listed inside the box. Answer may be stated in any order. Choose your answer inside the box. For the first column, write the food or the food preparation. The food or food preparation are sugar, water, vinegar, rice grains, and salt. Next, column 2, what are those objects used for cleaning or hygiene? Those are... Soap, water, alcohol, detergent powder, and toothpaste. Next column, used for cooking or heating. These are liquefied petroleum gas, charcoal, teapot, chopped woods, rice cooker and for the last column gadget and appliances what are these objects these are radio electric fan rice cooker teapot and liquefied petroleum gas and for the last activity learning task 5 Read each question carefully. Write the letter of the best correct answer. Number 1. Hannah loves to drink milk tea. These food drinks contain a lot of sugar, which is true about milk tea for human health. A. Useful B. Harmful C. Sugar in milk tea is harmful if taken in excess. Letter D. 
Sugar in milk tea is useful if taken in excess. What is the correct answer? Very good! The answer is... Letter C. Sugar in milk tea is harmful if taken in excess. Number 2. Rings, necklaces, and watches are examples of jewelries. Which material is best to use in making jewelries? A. Ceramics B. Metals C. Plastics D. Wood What is your answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter B. Metals Number 3. Plants have properties that make them practical source of foods. Which property make them good source of foods? A. Resistance B. Mechanical C. Chemical D. Physical What is the correct answer? Very good! The answer is letter C. Chemical Number 4. Jewelries are made from metals which can be hammered into tin sheets without breaking. They can also withstand wear, pressure, and damage. Which properties best describe jewelries? First, malleability. Second, electrical conductivity. Third, durability. Fourth, elasticity. Choose from the letter A, 1 and 2. B, 1, 2 and 4. C, 1 and 3. D, 1 only. What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter C, 1 and 3. And number 5, metals are used at home for variety of purposes. If the electrician will install electrical light in your kitchen, which materials is or are practical to use? 1. Gold 2. Silver 3. Copper 4. Aluminum or 5. Stainless Steel Is it A. 1 and 2 B. 3 and 4 C. 3 only D. 5 only What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is... Letter C, 3 only. Remember, properties are distinctive characteristics that describe an object or material, like metals, plastics, woods, and fabrics. These properties of materials determine their uses and importance. These properties may be observed directly or indirectly. Each materials have their own characteristics which tell about their properties like texture, color, and hardness. These properties are called physical properties. Kids, are your all answers correct? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next subject, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!